Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Today we are going to be designing what you see on my screen. So if this is something you'd love to create with me, stay tuned and I will be right back after the intro. Alright, so here we are in Canva and you can see I already have my dimension open but just in case you don't know how I came to that point. All you need to do is to click on create a design okay and um you can just select 1080 by 1080 or just the instagram um post okay so that's what you have to do and a new tab should open for you okay so the first thing we are going to do is to come into element and in element we are going to be searching for leave okay l-e-a-v-e -E, okay and um you can see there's so many options over here so what you can do is to add pattern Okay, so leave pattern so that you can have um, some interesting pattern. Then we come to graphics and in graphics, we have so many options that would pop up. Okay, so we are going to use this option over here. And if you're in the free version of Canva, um, you can simply find one of the leaves. Okay, and just duplicate them and spread them across your design. Okay, so um, before I spread this across, I'll click on the background of my image. Sorry, of my design. And I'll choose, you know, one of these colors. You know something like that and i would increase this okay this is even too bright so i'll select the background and um you know we choose a lighter version of this blue so we can just come you know somewhere here okay so the color code is 8 e b okay d b f so that's the um color code for this particular color okay so yeah so the next thing we are going to do is we'll um reduce the transparency of this a little bit so i come to transparency and i move it to somewhere like 64 so this is what we have at the moment so now press r on your keyboard for um for square and we would reduce the size a little bit something like this okay then we would come to photos and in photos you can choose a cool guy but just in case you want some cut out um you know photos what you do is you click on the filter um icon over here then you see cut out only so you just you know tick it and um if you're also on the free version you just have to choose free so that it gives you free images okay then you apply and um anything you search for would be in the free version of canva okay they'll be cut out but they'll be free so i found this image over here and i'm going to paste this image here oh let me delete this i don't know what's happening so okay so let me just move this design over here okay so i place him right on top and um you can also search for your image and use it okay i found him here this is it okay so yeah and i would place him on top like i said and i will select him bring him down a little bit and i think one interesting thing we can do is making sure we use colors from this image okay so if i choose the background again canvas should be able to generate colors for me you understand so i can use the pink background you know and um, any color i believe works fine for me i can simply use that i'll use this for now and then we'll do some changes afterwards okay so so now that we have this what we are going to do is to come back into element and we will search for leave okay leave only and um we have so many interesting images over here so with this what i will do is we are going to use some cool um you know leave i would use the natural the ones that look a bit natural okay okay so scroll down all right so just scroll down and um in my case i think this is the only leave so i think let me just okay let me just search for leaves okay so you can see we have some interesting leaves over here so you can choose any of the ones you see that you know actually works for you so if it's this i want i can just you know move it backward okay and i can duplicate it again come to flip flip horizontal okay and i can also rotate it this way okay then i come to position and send it to back so this is what 
I have at the moment. So I'll select everything and um, I'd rather have to move the sleeve. So I'll move it here. You understand. Now, the next thing we are going to do is um, you can search for flower. F-L-O-W-E-R. Okay. And with this flower, you know, I can also choose this since it's red. Um, you know, reduce the size because you don't want it too big over here. And I can also send it backward. Then I crop it out. Okay. So that it gets to look like this. You understand? So I select this and also can bring it here. And I move it to the back so you see what I am doing here now we want to add some text okay so we come to text and we click on add a heading okay so we can search for something like um, I can type disco okay so this is what I would want to okay to type and I will come to this section where I can change my text and now search for script okay but we are not going to use an exact script or we can search for brush okay so what you can also do is to search for brush all right uh -huh. so that you can actually find some interesting um font here okay so let's see with this one okay so i would skip this part because i'm just going to take my time to search for some cool fonts all right so this is the font i decided to go in for and the name is called brusher b-r-u-s-h-e-r -E okay so now that i have this font what i'm going to do is i come to effect and in effect we have several effects we can use there is the echo which is a very cool one and um you can choose any color i want so if you are using the desktop um app of canva you would have the ability to you know how do you call it you have the ability to use the color picker okay and that's one interesting thing i love you know so we have the disco and um i think with with this um echo effect the only thing is you cannot control the transparency so if i choose shadow okay i can actually control the transparency and also choose the color i want to use okay so i choose this and with the offset I reduce it a little bit you understand then with the blur I wouldn't change the blur but I'll just try to increase the you know the transparency of this so that we can have it like this okay so then what we can also do is we can duplicate okay we can duplicate this font we have over here come to effect in effect we turn everything off we send it to the back change the color to maybe the blue we have behind okay then we send it to the back okay then we can increase the size of this okay so when you increase it all you have to do is to let me move this here a little bit so we'll just position it in a way okay and keep this one here okay so now that we have this what we are going to do now is to select everything and make it a bit smaller okay or if you want you can keep the size you know the same way move it to the top a little bit and then we can just add a little bit of information to the bottom so we can come um you can just choose another font over here okay then i maybe select quicksand okay so quicksand and um, it should change quickly then we can select or and say um you know time okay if the time is 4 p.m and the date okay so date we can say the date is 15th okay um october 2021 and we can also add the venue okay so the venue we can say the venue is um uh let's say oak plaza okay so this is what we can do and um, we just select somewhere out and i would you know arrange it this way so i don't want it to be plain this way so i come to element okay so come to element and in element we are going to go into shapes okay so um click on cr and in cr we are going to search for one of these 
outlined shapes okay like this one so this is what we are going to use and we just crop okay so i rather move it down okay then i crop it crop it and let me change the color so that it's easier for me to see okay so you can see what we are doing here so i crop it here then i crop it here and move it then move it up okay like this and like that okay so come to position center select this position and center okay so this is what you should have you know at the moment and um just in case this is too light you can just you know make it thicker and if you want you can also you know change the color of it so this is what i wanted to show you how to create inside of canva and i hope you found this helpful if you did make sure to subscribe if you want more canva tutorials and if you love this video you know make sure to also hit the thumbs up button which means to like it so the name is benjamin and i will see you in my next video